Hey guys, it's Praz Murthy at Dr. Multimedia. I'm the CFO and one of the co-founders of the, our digital marketing agency, coming to you from La Jolla, California on this Friday, April 26th, I believe. Uh, so near the end of the day, some people are taking off, but we're going strong, uh, trying to deliver the best free content out there for doctors, for office managers, anyone in the medical profession that wants to learn more about digital marketing. So. Hopefully you've seen a couple of these episodes already. We've done some with Jamboards, um, we've done some podcasts, we've done just some individual videos, uh, and our hope is to reach you on whatever medium you prefer. So if there is one particular way that you prefer uh, listening to us, anyone out there on Facebook or Instagram, just let us know uh, what formats you've liked, what are most helpful to you. Some people like the Jamboard with the notes behind it. Some people prefer you know, not to have the distraction. Some people just like to listen to the audio you know, on their drive home. But either way, I first want to thank everybody who's been watching. The comments, the feedback have been great. A lot of motivation for the team here uh, to keep going. Uh, you know, daily content can be a struggle sometimes. Not that there's any shortage of things to talk about. But you know the days can get away from you and uh, we've made a big effort here to just constantly be delivering something and so far the the feedback and the response have been overwhelming so thank you guys for that so what i want to talk about today is actually not anything related to what i had planned on talking about when i came to work this morning we were going to stick to the usual script of online marketing websites social media uh, and if you're a client of ours at Dr. Multimedia, hopefully all of those are well handled or you're thinking about adding on some additional services. Uh, but I wanted to talk about something that came up with one of my calls. You know, I spend all day talking to the different doctors uh, around the country about what challenges they're facing, what new ideas we have, what's working well for certain doctors, uh, what other people have tried in the past. So I was talking to Dr. Grace out at Golden Hills Family Dentistry in Lakewood, Colorado. Hey, Dr. Grace, if you catch this later. And uh, she wanted to ask me about, you know, referral programs. So what can you do to boost patient referrals? Your goal is a recurring patient base. And if you do a good job, one, patients will come back. That's the whole point. They tell you that they're happy by returning. But two, they will actually spread the word. And so this is an old fashioned word of mouth. Been around, you know, since the beginning of business, and it's almost always everyone's best form of new business, myself included. Now, what the internet did, in a couple of different ways, is the internet has made certain mouths louder than others. Meaning that there's online reviews, of course, and so you can, if you have a negative thing to say, you can that can really be amplified by the idea of an online review. Leaving a negative review can impact someone's business, and if you have a lot of good reviews. That can have a similar effect, you know, in the volume of all the positive reviews. Uh, but also just the social, interact social interaction that takes place when you're talking about word of mouth referral. So while I hear the word referral used a lot, I think oftentimes the policies that you're reading refer to referral centers and what you can and can't do when you're doing business with someone that's sending you referrals. I haven't seen very much documentation about what you're allowed or not allowed to do if a happy patient wants to tell another patient about you and then rewards. But that said, it's always a good idea to check, to be clear. Um, hopefully whatever organization you're a part of puts out information like this as times change so you can get some straight answers. If you don't know, ask. But we're going to run the gamut today from simple to complex, from paid incentives to just freebies or raffles. And so, you know, just a legal disclaimer required that you should always check uh, your, with your governing bodies before you institute any kind of plan. That said, I have never at one time in, you know, my 10 years of doing this run across a legal issue when it comes to patient referrals and word of mouth marketing. The most common referral is that someone needs a dentist or an orthodontist or an optometrist. So you ask a friend, a coworker, a fellow mom or a fellow dad, you know, when you're at a sporting event or a uh, kid activity, you see who they use. And, and there's just so much value in the social proof. You, we assume so much just from knowing that someone we trust uh, is using a particular business or provider. They may not even have had that great experience, but if you know that they trust them enough to continue to use them, sometimes that's more than enough to push you over the edge and, and try them out. So there's almost an unnatural amount of credit given when we hear friends and family and neighbors talking about the businesses that they choose um, to interact with. Uh, you know, Keeping up with the Joneses is one form of that, where if I hear that 
Greg and Joe just bought a new Lexus, you know, and they're in my neighborhood. That may then, you know, make me more interested in doing the same to kind of keep up. That's a different style of word of mouth referral. So, okay, so let's rewind it back to the practice. Someone comes through your doors, they have a phenomenal experience. What can you do to increase the likelihood that they will then tell someone else? So just basic examples might be, um, if you refer someone to our practice, they will receive $25 off a uh, new patient exam, right? I'm just making those up, of course. It's gonna depend on your vertical, your specialty, what's included in your exam, what's not. So scale the numbers as you need to from there. But the concept of, okay, if you send someone in to the practice, they will receive some benefit um, and, they, and we'll ask them how they heard about you. So that's traditional. I'd say there's nothing wrong with that, but I haven't found it to be very effective. I'm really fond of referral programs that reward both the referee and the referral, for lack of better words, but both the person providing the referral and the person walking into your practice. I really feel like you should give them both something so that one, I have a reason to tell everyone I know, and two, the people that I tell have an incentive to mention me when they get to the practice. Where I see most practices falter is in the execution and the consistency and the reminders that there is a referral program. You know, people tell me, oh, well, I, I offered, I'm offering a great referrals, but I don't get any. Well, has anyone been reminded of it in the last 30 days? Uh, how often are you mentioning it? Is it on the website? Is it on the social media? Are you doing email blasts about it? So given today's world, people need constant reminders and they need ways to make it super easy. Because again, I might tell Matt about you today Matt might not need you for two months, but then when he does need you, he remembers who I said to go to, and he walks in. The last thing on his mind is that I was his referral. He might not even remember that that's why he thought of that place, but I planted it in his mind when we were having a casual conversation. That happens more than you realize, that you get referrals, and subconsciously, that drives your behavior. So what can you do to increase the most basic referral program to make that more effective? Well, one is that um, tangible reminders go a long way. So if you have like a business card size, you know, you can go on Vistaprint, you can get 500 business cards for $20. So if you design it out, on the front side, I would put the discount that you're offering the new patient. So in Greg's case, in my you know, very standard example, $25 off new patient exam. Slap that on the front. On the back, you put you know, ref uh, referred by and any other information you need to collect. So I'm a happy patient, I'm walking out your doors, you hand me a couple of these cards. Hey, just so you know, if, any, if you give these to anyone and they come in with it, Greg gets $25 off and will credit your account $10. So, okay, now I have something physical. It's like those punch cards at sandwich shops, right? They make you want to order more sandwiches. So I've got a physical reminder. Now when I'm doing a word of mouth, word of mouth referral or when I walk into work the next day, I hand Matt something and I say, hey, here's a coupon for my dentist. If you want to schedule an appointment, they're great. And on the back, it's got my information. He now wants to bring that in because it'll get him an amount off. Even if that's just your regular new patient special, he'll bring it in because he wants to make sure to redeem it. And he gives you the card. Now you've got it all tracked. Really, really easy for your staff to deal with. They don't have to do it in real time. They can sit down at the end of the day and put those in. Now let's maybe take it kind of one step further. So everyone loves this idea of competition. So maybe you definitely want to have incremental rewards for your referrals because you, if you want that instant gratification, right? Over here at Dr. Multimedia, if I find out that one of my clients referred a new client, whether, that, whether my current client told me or not, if I catch wind of that, I'm just logging online, sending an edible arrangement to that practice, I'm not even telling them, they'll get it, their staff will enjoy it, everyone will be happier, they already liked me enough to recommend it, here's a small thank you, plus they're probably gonna like me a little bit more uh, once they receive it. So that's like an automated response, it's just that gut reaction that, hey, you did something for me, I wanna reinforce that, behave that positive behavior with an interaction and with a reward. So now, what about some more kind of creative ideas? So obviously the point of a referral is to get someone new in front of you and then obviously you, the doctors and the office managers and the staff have to take it from there. If they don't have a good experience, it doesn't matter that they were referred to you, they're not coming back. So as this concept of 
setting up the pins, but then you guys still have to knock them down. So that's always going to be a part of it. A great customer experience, a happy clientele, high quality medicine. That is what will breed referrals in general. But we're talking about how to uh, capitalize on the, the most you know, effectively on new patient referrals. So, okay, yes, the people that live around you are great potential patients, and that's what everybody focuses on. But the people that work around you are terrific potential patients as well, especially if you're open early or open late or some of the businesses around you are off hours. Imagine being able, they might live on the other side of town, which might be really inconvenient for them to see a medical uh, doctor without taking time off of work. Imagine you could do it right before, after, or even during lunch, save yourself time off of work, you know, earn more money that way. That's really appealing. But the problem is, when you're not from that part of town, you don't know the difference between the five dentists on the street within one mile of your business or a place of employment. So, you know, who knows whether you're gonna pick or go to one of those. So one thing that I like to do or recommend that any doctor can do is look at some local businesses around you. You know, odds are you're either in or near a strip mall. Um, odds are that there's some restaurants. And generally this isn't gonna work on like chains or big corporate, you know, retailers. So that's not what I mean here. Plus it's good to support local business anyways. But I mean more the mom and pop shops, the small organizations, the business owners you already know. And you can do a couple things. First and foremost, there, no, there's nothing people love more than the friends and family discount. No matter what you're buying or who you're talking to, if someone is offering you the equivalent of a friends and family discount, you're immediately interested. So I like to turn that into the friends, family, and neighbor discount. Because now, you can go to these local businesses and just by their proximity, you can say that, hey, if any of your employees or your staff are interested in you know, chiropractic adjustments or need help for their pets or dental care, or new glasses, whatever it is, if any of your employees or staff could use this, ideally you're talking to the business owner, right? You're a business owner, it'd be great if you could get some face time with the other business owner. If any of your employee or staff could use our services, please send them along. If they come in, we'll give them the friends, family, and neighbor discount of whatever, right? It could be the same $25 off. So, okay, we're, we're building some steam here on this idea. We're gonna go to business owner, maybe do a little business owner to business owner thing. Hey, come in and see me. I'll give you guys a discount. I'll give you a bigger discount. I'll, I'll friends and family and neighbor discount for people that work for you. Great, okay, we're getting somewhere. Now, if you're a local business that has foot traffic, you get people walking in all the time that want something and there's really nothing more irritating than someone that's just in there to for their own sake and not interested in your local business. So let's take it one step further and let's become clients of that local business. If it's a restaurant, if it's an ice cream shop, order something, be a paying customer and then do what I said and people will be a whole lot more willing to listen, right? Go take your staff to the local ice cream shop after work one day, just for fun, buy everybody some ice cream. Your odds are you'll either get to talk to the owner or the manager since you're the one treating everyone. I mentioned, hey, this is our staff. We're located over here. If any of you guys ever need anything, um, you know, come on in. We'll give you the discount. And oh, by the way, I have these um, coupons that I've printed out. You know, if, if you're okay with me putting them up, up by the front register, um, you know, on the front they say $25 off. On the back they say from local ice cream shop, right? You've pre-filled these out. If anyone brings this in, we're gonna give back to your business in the following way. Doing, good, doing nice things, dropping off gifts, building a relationship with your local businesses can create an incredible referral network, not just for staff, but for the people coming into the practice. So the goodwill that that promotes, um, you, you really can't undervalue. And then remember, all of a sudden, if you do this consistently and you do this all around your area, you start to get referrals from employees working at these businesses. They might spread the word to the customers that they have relationships with. And you're able to kind of create that web, create that network of referrals. And that's what everybody wants, right? When you're talking about insurance providers, everyone's quick to say, oh, it's you know an in-network in referral, or oh, I'm on the insurance list, I don't need new patients. You can proactively be creating your own list of people that happily recommend you in appropriate situations. It's just largely about the incentive. So, oh my gosh, all right. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that bonus tip at the end there is something that you can execute on. If, it's too, if you're too small of a practice and you can't quite handle all of this, start small. 
Um, or if you like what you've heard, you know, reach out to us. You can, re you can reach us at drmultimedia.com. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Facebook. Uh, we give away tips like this and advice like this on a daily basis. I literally had this call less than three hours ago. Uh, totally scrapped whatever I was going to do today. Figure I'd get it out while it was fresh in my head. And that's just how things go around here. We spend our days talking about ways to help your practice get better. We'd love to share those conversations with you. If you're already a client, thank you so much. We hope you're enjoying all this new content this year um, and learning something um, from it. And if you're not a client, but you've liked what you've heard, just come on over to the website, drop us a line. There's a quick contact form. It won't take you more than 10 seconds. Leave us your name or a number or an email address. Submit your question. If, you want, if you're having trouble, if you've tried all of these things and they're not working, let us know. We'll go over it with you um, and we'll give you some free advice. We'll feature you on, on one of these things, even if you're not a client. And of course, if you're interested in becoming a client, uh, please just send us a message, get, get a phone call, email, uh, whatever works for you. We'll schedule a time. We'll talk about your needs and all the different ways that we can help because that's what we do. So uh, once again, I'm Praz, uh, Dr. Multimedia, one of the co-founders. And until next time, guys, thanks for listening.